looking at third down. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. This play call is for the fullback. This offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense. Second down coming up. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. Running right through the trenches. Rutgers there to make the tackle. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Ryan from the gun. Throw to the left. He makes the catch, and he knows where he has to get to to pick up the first. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. Now on the move, Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. White's marked down at the 19. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering there. Teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Inside the red zone. They were very good at finishing off drives last week in this situation. First down following the long play. Jackson's handed the football. And that's a gain of nine. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. Second and short following the run. Offense lines up here. Gives it to Steven Jackson for a gain of about five. That's a timeout call. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Offense lines up here. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Touchdown. Just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. The point is good. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Peterson's going to run this one out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Browns lined up in the slot. Here we go. Now first and ten. Reaches out and snatches it. And that's Dent in on the stop. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. Holding on to the timeout. The rush back to the line. That'll stop the play right there. First down, pressure on every snap down. Hurry up, two-minute offense. Airtight coverage, incomplete. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. 
Dwyer is in the backfield. Get ready. Blue 58. Blue 58. Hey. Second down and 10. He has the grab. He's going to be tackled right around the 49. So much on the line now as they line up for third down. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. First down. Let's see what they come up with here. Play number six coming up on this drive. Just about a minute left. It would take a miracle to pull this one out. Second and ten. Throw it to the outside, and they've got the hookup. The defense has a lead here in the fourth quarter, Jim, so they're willing to give up those short completions. Now it's up to the defense. Come up, make the tackle. Good job that time. Dwyer is in the backfield. And he's forced to the ground. Going for it on fourth down. The Falcons signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. The coach is going to go for it. Carson Palmer takes a look down from under center. The Cardinals have it at the 44. Carlson's got the catch and the first. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. This long drive continues. The Cardinals snap it up at the 26. And the catch is made by Larry Fitzgerald. First down here after the completion. play is huge now second down on the way mounting a serious drive Here we go. second and goal from the five and here's the pass incomplete Jim I love these situations third and goal what are they going to call they're going to run the football they're going to go with the pass and if it is a pass I would look for something quick the long drive continues third and goal from the five He's taken down. The Cardinals call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. They bring back out the offense to go for it. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. And he's dropped for a loss. That's a timeout by the defense. First down, offense ready for the snap. Nickel formation here for the defense. Jackson taking it up the middle, ends up picking up three yards. Bill, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, you know, Jim, let's look at it this way. It was just a nice win. It, it keeps your confidence up, and it just gives you a little energy to, uh, to go out next week and try to accomplish it again. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.
Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Rodgers Packers going up against Ryan's Falcons. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sim for this Week 14 matchup. We're under the lights here on Monday night, just moments away from kickoff here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sim. We have a little upset special coming your way today. One team's unbeaten. Well, I know the undefeated team hopes not, but I'll tell you, Jim, the other team, they're excited about getting out there and getting the chance to put that first blemish on the record. You're always looking for an edge. When you go against an undefeated team, that's a big edge for your football team. Now, as we go to the field, it's Devin Hester back deep for the kickoff. The leaders of the NFC North are set now to kick it away and get this game started. And as he takes the knee, Ryan will now bring his offense onto the field. Ryan's going to be leading the offense once again today. He connected on over 60% of his throws last week. The defense comes out of the dime. First down at the 20. Jackson's got it on the handoff. It's about nine on the play. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out, they'll throw it over the top. Second down and one. Has 12 on this play. Hard to judge sometimes what time of possession really means in an NFL game, but I know this. When you run the football like that and you pick up decent yards, that's a good thing for the offensive side and a great thing for your football team. Hey, up the middle and picks up maybe three or four. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. They have been a third down juggernaut this year, converting at an unusually high rate. Takes another handoff, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. What a way to start the game on offense, picking up another first down for them. They are in rhythm, and now no matter what they call, they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen. Once again, they'll run it. What a run by Jackson. The Falcons offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. Right back to him. Good piece of tackling. And now, here's the Packers defense. They never got to the quarterback once last week. Davis going to get set in the slot for this snap. Jackson's going to take the handoff now. Not able to get away from Hawk. Line up now on third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. Two tight ends on the field here. Third down and two. Hand off. And he's brought to the ground. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven yeah. points. The jumbo set on the field. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. The Falcons, they believe in their offense. They know once they get inside the red zone, they can run or throw. That time they run the football, and it picks up some good solid yards. Great job by the offensive line. Again, they'll lean on it. Jones there to make the stop. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. This has been a long drive so far. Keeps it here. And in 
incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver so it's easy for him to make the catch and he can protect himself also. Wide receivers are bunched up. And now he'll take off. Ryan connects with touchdown. There's one thing you can't be anymore in the NFL. You can't be a sitting duck. My man is not a sitting duck. How about that? Good moves, good scrambling. Gets open, finds the receiver, puts it right on target for the touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. Makes the PAT. The Packers are usually one of the best of the league in stopping opponents on their opening drive. Not the case this time. The score's 7-0. it at the nine and starts his return gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24 coming on to the field at quarterback the man who took over the position for Brett Favre and has created his own legacy at Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers Aaron Rodgers one of the best arms in the National Football League in my opinion probably the best thrower of the football Tight ends in motion here. First down at the 24. The give out to the right. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. Now that we've got a moment, let's look at the Packers' offense. And on the year, they have put up the third most points in the National Football League. Second down following the run. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Out of the eye, it's Lacey. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. And here's the Falcons. Defense stacks up. This is a hungry punch that loves to get after the quarterback. Loves to post numbers when it comes to sacks and quarterback hurries. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. They've come out in the dime package. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The pass is intercepted. Breaks free. Going to take it the distance. In stride, and he's home for the touchdown. Touchdown. You got to love that from your defense. They take a chance. They get the interception. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. Falcons with the PAT to come. Extra point was good. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. And no return as this goes for a touchback. The Packers come out for the next possession. First down at the 20. Here's Boykin. He's tackled right at the 24. You got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. Second down here. Adams is lined up now as a slot receiver. Aaron Rodgers going to take it from the shotgun. Makes the reception. Adams. 
Adams marked down at the 27. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. Nickel formation for the defense here. Tight end in motion. A foot race to the end zone. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. The Packers will take the snap from the 45. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. The Packers have it at the 39. In on the tackle. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Harper's a receiver in the slot. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, the defense has got to be excited anytime on third down they make the play. Uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Hester's going to try and return this punt. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. The Falcons will begin their drive from the 26 now. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Keeps his legs moving. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. Offense lines up here. Second down and seven. Gets away from the pressure. Eyeing that left side. Ryan can't find a man open that time. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for ever. White's met after a gain of 13. Well, that was an awesome job that time by the quarterback getting out of the pocket. He keeps the play alive and able to throw it down the field for a nice completion. First down at the 42. Jackson's going to secure the handoff. He'll pick up seven this time. The Falcons would love to run the ball like they have so far. Jackson's posting big numbers, Phil. I still think they'll be able to run the football, and here's why. The defense is worried about the passing game. When you're that worried about the pass, the running game is there, and the offense is taking advantage of it. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Jackson's able to show everybody why he should get the football more. Good job that time finding his way and picking up a first down. First down and 10. Still got it after the play action. Going to try and scramble now. Taken down at the 39. Play number six coming up on this drive. Offense lines up here. Second down and seven. Going to go draw. Jones is in on the tackle. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Jackson 
Texans lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Falcons get a first down. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. This will be the eighth play of this drive. This will be the last play before halftime. Gives it to Steven Jackson, and that picks up three. The Falcons, one timeout remaining. down coming up hey, bye -bye. the defense loading up that's a touchdown able to take it across from just a couple of yards out the fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football but down near the goal line they serve a good purpose quick hitting plays by a big powerful guy gets it done We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. We welcome you in now for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Packers haven't had the same success as last week through the air. The Falcons have obviously played a role in that as they've done what they've needed to in order to slow that part of the game down. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Packers now will start this drive at the 27. The defense comes out in the nickel. First down at the 27. Out to the left. Here's Boykin. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. The Packers snap it at the 31. Rodgers sends it to Lacey, and he's tackled down after picking up the first. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. The Packers have it at the 39. The defense gets the sack. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. After getting sacked, it's now second and 18. Rodgers by himself in the backfield. He'll take the snap from the gun. Swap them again. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. They don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this 